angle that way. That's it. Turn to me at Lucas. Back this way. That's it. A little bit more angle. In this video, guys, I'm going to be taking this picture from this to this. And then the final image done in Evoto. Super quick. How'd you like that, guys? Let's get into it. I'm going to be showing you an edit in Evoto with this picture I've got on the screen here now. But before I do that, I wanted to have this picture look as if it was shot through trees, you know, like some with some branches. So what I did, I used some PNG files and I achieved this look. This is the sort of thing I was looking for. Uh, so I'm happy with this and I can go on to do the editing in Evoto. Now I will leave the link below this video if you want to have a play yourself. Some of these um, PNG files will be available and also the original image I'm editing today. And then if you want to have a practice yourself, you're more than welcome to do so. Okay, so we can head into Evoto. We've got the picture loaded up <coughs> and I will show you the process that I would use to get this picture just pop in a little bit more of how I want it to look. Okay, so we're going to go into the color adjustment module and then we're going to go to the background first of all. And I'm just going to bring the exposure down on the background just a little bit to probably about there. So the guy is, you know, he, he stands out a lot more compared to the surroundings he is in. And I will just go into this one here and add a little bit of aqua to the greens. And then I'm going to bring the saturation up on the greens as well, as you can see there. And then we will go to the person and I'm going to add a little bit more contrast to him as well. It's super simple to do these guys. If you're not sure about doing like um, layered images, I did a video the other day. I'll leave a link to that as well if I can, if I remember to, and then you can see how to use these PNG files. It's really simple. Okay, so I'm happy with that look. I'm going to go into the portrait retouching area. Now, with male images, you don't really need to do as much as what you do with females. Females like to look as glam as possible. Guys just want to look great. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can get away with doing a little bit less editing on him. So what we're going to do next is I'm just going to, I know we've got eye bags. So what I'll do is I'm just going to bring all these sliders all the way up to around the 60% mark. And we've got a little forehead wrinkle there we could really do with getting rid of, but it hasn't moved it. So no big deal. No big deal. Okay, body blemishes, we'll bring them up to 50%-ish, and the same with the freckle and acne. Okay, skin retouching. What I'm going to do is, even with dodge and burn, and then we're going to get the texture of the skin looking a little bit more satin, and we will add a little bit of colour. And I think that for this sort of image, I would probably leave it there. Now, could we just do something with the eyes? Just get those eyes popping just a little bit more. We'll go into the contour, or not contour, contact section. Let's just see if we can bring those eyes out just a little bit. We don't want them too crazy. Or should I say, just the one eye. We've got a bit of a serious look, as if he's just been caught bathing. So we you know, we want to leave it as grungy as possible. And then the final bit we will do is we will go into the body shaping. Now, we just want to push this side of the tummy in just a little bit, just to straighten it up. So we will go to the waist section. Now, I'm going to unclip it here so we don't adjust both sides. And then we can bring that waist in just a little bit as well. Now it's left this side here, which I could just use the hand tool 
just to nudge this over if it lets me liquify and the hand tool ah right so we don't want it on liquify not it's not something i use a lot in here oh here we go so we've got reconstruct um bloat forward warp tool let's try that one There we go. Okay, that's just looking a little bit better for me. And then we haven't got any legs on show. We want to just try and get a little bit more length on him though, if we can. And we'll just bring the neck up just a little bit. We're gonna unclip them. I want this side of the neck in just a little bit as well bring the head size up just a little bit a little bit more height and we'll just exaggerate the body just a little bit as well so that was a pretty quick edit for me um like i said with guides, you don't really do need to do as much as what you would do with the female edits. Guys are more forgiving than girls, definitely. Okay, so I think I am going to leave it there. Tell me, guys, what you think of that. I think I'm looking quite happy with myself for that image. It was super quick to do, and I will show you the before and after. And like I said, I'll leave the link below to the images and the PNG files. If you want to have a play yourself, have a practice, feel free to do so. We'll see you next video, guys. Again, just a quick one for you today.